Hello fellow makeup monsters. So, as you can see in the title, I'm gonna turn myself into a boy. What's up? The reason why I wanted to do this as part of uh, my Halloween looks for this year is basically because last year, right after Halloween on Pinterest, if you, if a lot of you don't know, Pinterest is um, actually a website you have to be invited to go on. I don't know if it's still like that, that's how it was when I joined, but in any case, this website where you kind of just, you share a bunch of photos and if people like it, they'll pin it on their boards and share it with their people and so on and so forth. One of the things that I saw on there uh, right after Halloween last year was a lot of couples were doing gender switches for Halloween. I thought it was really cute. I mean, for couples to kind of do a gender role switch thing, I thought it was really cute. I was like, oh, I wish I thought of that. In any case, so let's go ahead and get started with this look. To start off with, you want to pin back all your hair as much as possible. Um, since I have pink hair, it's going to be a little harder for me than the rest of y'all. But um, let's go ahead and give this a try. So this is the beanie that I'm using. Chicago... Chicago Bears? Cubs? Bears. I'm not a big sports person, as you can tell. I mostly follow football. I don't even follow football that much. I only follow football as far as like playing it. I love to play me some football. Anyway. So get your hair up ball in that. Sorry I got like my weird southern accent going on today. Been watching too much Dr. Phil. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna try this from the back. Because this is just insane. My hair is way too thick for this mess. Just to kind of answer some questions now, I have always been told that I have a natural southern accent. I am born and raised from Vegas, so I don't know how I came across that. I really couldn't tell you if I tried. Well, I got most of it. Before we uh, go on into anything, get your bronzer. This is, I'm going to be using Fresh Minerals. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if this is available anywhere else. I do know that my mother got this from Costco. I'm not usually one for bronzer. I don't ever have bronzer on me. As you can see, I'm stark white, and I like my white look. So, I don't like bronzer. <laughs> so anyway, um, use whatever bronzer you have. Try to stick with more of a matte bronzer. This does have a bit of a shimmer because it's a mineral bronzer. But if you have a matte one, I highly recommend using that. So I'm going to use this stipple brush. Place this on places where on a normal guy would have a, like a no natural sun-kissed look. I'm going to start on the forehead. I'm also going to use the bronzer to kind of uh, hollow out my cheeks. Because guys tend to have stronger cheekbone structure than women. Also where you feel that there would be a, a kind of like a beard and even though if guys that do have a beard they tend to be more pale when they shave in that area I like to put bronzer in that area just because it tends to give more depth and dimension also don't forget your neck because otherwise your neck will look white and everything else will look sun-kissed so I just freshly sharpened one of my brow pencils I'm using this from Revlon this is Revlon Brow Fantasy. This is light brown, as you can see. And we're just going to use that in the crease of our eyes. Then smudge it out so it doesn't look like you just drug a pencil on your eyelid. Again, that kind of goes along with that whole sun-kissed look. Now we're going to move on to our eyebrows. We're going to take a... Well, I'm taking a black eyeliner pencil. Now, the reason why I'm taking black is because, as you can see, my natural brow hair is black. Use whatever is the closest to your natural brow color. Don't go for something lighter or darker because you want it to look true. You want it to look natural. You want it to look like you're a hot mess and you just don't tweeze your brows. You don't want to look like you're covering up your brows or dolling up your brows. That's what you don't want. So I'm just using my pencil as is right now. After we're done with the brows, we're gonna sharpen this and move on to the face. I'm not taking a spoolie. 
Instead, I'm taking this tool, which is a brow and mascara tool. So I'm going to take this part. I'm just going to kind of brush it out so it looks a little bit more blended. So now we have our nice groucho brows going on. Now take a dark brown pencil. This is again another Brow Fantasy by Revlon. This is dark brown, I believe. Yeah, this is dark brown. We're going to do this first and then we're going to do the black on top for the stubble. That way, because my brows are black, I'm going to want my stubble to be black to kind of match that kind of pubic hair, I guess you could say. It's gross pubic hair. That's so nasty. And it's just because you want it to match. You want it to look like it's actually real, but also you want it to kind of have depth and not every stubble will be the same color. If you actually look really close at a guy's face with stubble, you'll actually see like different tones of color in their beard. But taking that first, I'm just gonna kinda go down on the sideburns just a little bit here. Not too much because we're gonna go over this with the black. And then just kinda do little dots all over. All over. Kinda think of a pattern though because you want it to look natural and guys don't really have full faces it's actually kinda hard to find a guy that actually can do a full beard without it being patchy nowadays I don't think I've met a guy who could actually grow a full beard yet a lot of the guys I know they have patches and they have like missing spots around here some of them have missing spots down here and all around so you'd be surprised See how I'm kind of just like, I'm not keeping a, a perfect U. I'm kind of like going up and around, down a little bit, up a little bit, up here. Looks more natural that way. I'm just going to about there because I'm not for the whole neck beard thing. Okay, so now that we have that set, it'll be a nice base for the black to go on top. Okay, so fill in gently on that sideburn. You want it to look kind of natural. Blend it more towards your actual hairline. I'm gonna make it even. Don't want to look like your guy who doesn't know how to shave his sideburn even. Take your time with this. That way each hair will actually look more realistic. If you just do like with the brown, just like zigzagging all over the place, it'll look like a hot mess and you don't want that. So also just keep in mind that you want the hairs to kind of go in the same direction, which is downward. Because if you do them at a diagonal, It'll, you'll have like a diagonal on this side and then a diagonal on that side. It, it, it'll look weird uh, up close. Try to keep in mind where you're dragging. Okay, so now from here we're going to try to do the illusion of the Adam's apple. So here's where the interesting part is going to happen. We're going to take that light brown pencil and that bronzer that we used before. Just kind of just create some light strokes and drag it under. So just kind of blend that out. See how you have that illusion now that there is something protruding right so take some of that bronzer, 
So you want to mainly focus the bronzer on the edge, but don't forget that because this is protruding, this would actually give uh, get some tan too on the subject of sunkissed. Now we're gonna just kind of create some not really aging lines, but just something you notice on guys more than girls. I like forehead lines. Just a little bit of crow's feet, not a whole lot, just because guys don't wear sunblock like us girls do, so they don't really take care of themselves that well like they probably should. Now we're going to kind of highlight or accentuate the nose a bit. Just because guys have more stronger features than us girls do. So there you have it. I mean, got a nice beanie on. I have a really loose shirt on today. This is my Ghostbuster shirt. I love my Ghostbusters. I kind of look like my older brother. It's creeping me out. So have fun with this look. I mean, there's different things you could do. You could always fill in the mustache more, kind of give yourself, you know, that little stash thing that's really popular now. I highly recommend just doing the stubble look. Stubble look is really easy to do. This only took me about a half hour. So it's really fun, easy to do. I'm a great quarterback. I know how to throw a football. I, uh, I don't know what's going on with me. This is just ridiculous. On top of ridiculous. Son of a biscuit eater, get in there. Leave it alone. Leave it alone, Sarah. Okay, so now you got your hair up all up in that. I'm in a weird mood today. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just apologizing now. Um, and bronzer doesn't like me. <laughs> that was gonna fall. Do you guys remember who Groucho is? You should. If you don't know who Groucho is, you might be too young. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I look very manly. So manly. So manly. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yes, I do. I'm just, I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I bit my lip the other day. Mm. Hello, fellow Mega Monsters. What's up? That was awful. Oh my god. Okay. I was going to do this whole thing of like, Yin Yang Sarah is out of here, but I'm here. I'm Mr. Yin Yang. And that's, no. I can't do that. I can't keep a serious face and do that. Um, But yeah. Let's see what this looks like with pink hair. Wow. That looks really bad. This is horrible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I look like a perv. Oh dear god. Okay, please hit the subscribe button because I have more makeup looks to show you guys. I can't wait to release them out to you. Um, please hit the like button to let me know that you guys like this. I love you all. <laughs> please stalk me appropriately on Facebook, facebook.com slash Sarah, written right here. Also Yin Yang Sarah for Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. It's all spelled the same. Yin Yang is a balance and the balance lies within yourself. I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Halloween. I'm gonna go wash this off now because I'm tripping myself out. <laughs> Bye.